Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. <clears throat> I don't see any ancient magic place. Maybe if I explore more, uh, I will get to. discovered the, some other locations There are some places also here also. There, there. I don't know what these places are. going the right way or not how oh, nice to see you my young friend I 
भी रात का टाइम है ना क्या था ना शॉर्टकट बनाया था ना मैप सिंबल के लिए फिर ऐसे क्यों हो रहा है सिंबल में जाने के लिए और भी तो रास्ता था दिन का वेट करता हूँ मैं पता नहीं क्या हो रहा है मेरे को ऐसा रास्ता दिखा रहा है क्या? 
Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. With you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hallo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. 
but I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Side mission I have. We have a puff mill at the vessel. The sheer nerve taking them down. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't yeah, wait to hear them. Attention. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and the Hogwarts. another adventure, are we? Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. 
It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. What are you up to now? Revelio. पहले पता था कि इतना नीचे जाना है तो भाई मिलना तो प्रोफेसर पिक के साथ था Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's why she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the Headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the Headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh, we are using the Polyjuice Potion. How do you feel? Ugh. Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. 
That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, <laughs> if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather un... When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. What could the headmaster want? I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment. Master, here, what could he want? Greetings! I mean, Mr. Gaunt. Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste, uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Something is very wrong with you. Professor, a word? Um. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. <laughs> and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a head? I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Just hope my Polynesian's potion will hold until I can get to my... Miss Broom! Oh, Professor, this is in... Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. Charms, sir. No. Well, keep at it, Broom. They're not invisible. <laughs> Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Stand proud, purebloods. 
The future is yours. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with his program. <clears throat> Attention, students. I hereby decree that the... Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrub a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrub thinks Master is indeed testing Scrub. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrub's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrub shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Polyjuice potions wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Sala ka ha mission dikhata ki nahi hai. To isme hum aage na.
कहाँ है ये वाला है इसके लिए दिखाना है I don't have any talent points. Next we'll uh, we'll do with stealth. Kedavra, fast. There are no main missions left, or any side missions left to do right now. So we're gonna go roam around a bit. Like I want to see what is this thing here. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. When I came out, I was like, "Oh, I don't know what to do." What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced. I'm not safe. All I need. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding safe. Careful. password now and I almost forgot it I don't know handy resource indeed your field guide I'm most pleased to be included this should be nearby professor black's room that is इतना घुमा घुमा के ले जाता है फैन के The gargoyle That's where I need to speak the password Toujours pur Visiting families have a motto. Rebellion. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? <laughs> I 
पैसा भी मतलब सिंह भी लिया और मिनिस्टर के ऊपर पैसा भी झाड़ रही है That was really nice. Where am I, Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. stuck here man he is not moving at all oh he is moving he just went on top of that i see a staircase straight ahead to find me if I go up there. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. What the fuck? अरे पहन के ये तो ये सलाई इतना स्लो चलता है. I best move while I can. 
Reeve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have had run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power.
जाना इस तरफ ही है तो इधर उधर क्या
You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. It's, uh... your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. 
don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. Oh, no, I As get it happens, that. I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Maybe she is the final villain. Or will be the final villain. So the repositories that we are searching is like dark traces or when you take the pain away from somebody. It uh, leaves some kind of mark, some kind of magic. That magic is in the repositories. That Ramrock and his men are trying to get to. Now I know. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. The ride be beside It seems me. we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous! What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Yes. Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. So we are done now. We'll be back with more exciting videos. Until then, stay tuned and have a good day. Bye guys, see you soon. Now four of them are unlocked. I need to do the... Professor Bucker's trial. So until then, bye. See you soon. Have a good day.